Here we have a SAT math question. Okay, let's go with the information. For the function f, for each increase in the value of x by c, where c is a positive constant, the value of f of x increases by a factor of 27. Which of the following equivalent forms of the function f displays 1 over c as a coefficient of x? Okay, so in the given function, uh, if I uh, increase the value of x by c, then the value of f of x increases by a factor of 27. And also there is another information that is 1 over c is being uh, as a coefficient of x. Okay, now uh, first what we can do is in each option, let's find the coefficient of x. Okay, now option A, the coefficient of x over here is 1 over 2. But the question says 1 over c is the coefficient of x. So comparing 1 over c and 1 over 2, so we get c is equal to 2 in option A. Okay, let's do the same thing for other options. In option B, the coefficient of x is 1 over 6. So comparing 1 over c and 1 over 6, we get uh, c is equal to 6. And in option C, the coefficient of x is 1 over 4, then we get c is equal to 4. In option D, the coefficient of x is 1 over 3, then c is equal to 3. Okay, so in each option, we have uh, exponential function. In an exponential function, the initial value of the variable that we have at the exponent usually will be 0. So let me check option A first. So let me take the option A first. In option A, I'm going to take the initial value for x, that is x is equal to 0. So when I take x is equal to 0, what value would I get for f of x? So when I plug in x is equal to 0 over here, this complete uh, 1 over 2 x, uh, 1 over 2 times x will become 0. That is 3 to the power 0. Anything to the power 0 will become 1. So 48 times 1 will become 48. So when x is equal to 0, I'm getting f of x equals to 48. So when I plug in x is equal to 0, I can easily find the value of f of x. That's why I take uh, the initial value for x as 0. Okay, now, so according to the question, the value of x is increased by c. In option A, the value of c is 2. So that is, the value of x, uh, 0 over here, has to be increased by 2. So when, uh, when I increase the value of x, 0 by 2, uh, I'm getting 2. That is, 0 plus 2 is 2. So now what I need to do is I have to plug in x equals to 2 in option uh, A. So f of x is equal to 48 times 3 to the power 1 over 2. And here we have x equals to 2. So for this x, I have to plug in 2. So when I do so, this 2, 2 will cancel out. So I'm getting 48 times. So here I'm getting 3 to the first power. Because when I simplify this one, I'm already simplified. So here the exponent is 1. So 3 to the first power is 3. So when I plug in x equals to 2, I'm getting f of x equals to 48 times 3. So that is, when I increase the value of x uh, by 2 units, that is uh, the value of c in option A, so f of x increases by a factor of 3. But according to the question, f of x has to be increased by a factor of 27. So uh, option A is incorrect. Okay, now we can check option B. Okay, let me write option B. In option B also, I'm taking the initial value for x, that is 0. When I plug in x equals to 0 over here, so 1 over 6 times 0, this part will completely become 0. So when this part completely becomes 0, then we get 3 to the third part, whole to the power 0. So for anything to the power 0, it will become 1. So anyways, the value of this part becomes 1. That is, in uh, the given function, this part completely becomes 1 when x is equal to 0. 1 times 48 is 48. So when x equals to 0, I'm getting f of x equals to 48. Okay, so according to the question, x has to be increased by c. So in option b, we have c equals to 6. That is, uh, this 0 has to be increased by 6, then I'm getting x equals to 6, because 0 positive 6 will be 6. When I plug in x equals to 6 over here, what value do I get for f of x? Let me check it. So f of x equals to 48 times uh, 3 to the third power 1 over 6 times 6. So the 6, 6 will cancel out, it becomes 1. So I'm getting 48 times uh, 3 to the third power to the power 1. So the x1 1 can be ignored. So what's the value of for this 3 to the third power? It's 27. So we get 48 times 27. So when I plug in x equals to 6 uh, into the exponential function in option B, I'm getting f of x equals to 48 times uh, 27. So when x is increased, when the initial value of x is increased by 6, that is the value of c in option B, f of x increases by a factor of 27. So it meets, uh, it satisfies the condition given in the question. So I think uh, the option B is correct. Anyway, so we can check option C also. Okay, now uh, let me take option C. So option C. In option C also, I'm taking the initial value uh, for x as 0. When I plug in x is equal to 0 over here, 1 over 4 times uh, 0, it will become 0. Then it will become 9 to the power 0. Anything to the power 0 will become 1. So 48 times 1 will become 48. When x is equal to 0, in option C, I'm getting f of x equals to 48. 
Okay, so now, uh, now option C, the value of C is 4. So according to the question, the value of X has to be increased by C. So here the value, initial value X, the initial value of X 0 has to be increased by this 4. So when I do so, I'm getting X equals to 4. So now I have to plug in X equals to 4 in option C. Let me do it. So F of X equals to uh, 48 times 9 to the power 1 fourth times 4. So this 4, 4 will cancel, it becomes 1. Then I'm getting 48 times 9. So when I plug in x equals to 4, f of x equals to 48 times 9. So in option C, when I increase uh, the value of x by 4 units, uh, what do I get? Or what value do I get for f of x? So actually uh, in option C, the value of C is 4. So that is I increase the value of x from 0 to 4. f of x uh, increases by a factor of 9. So, but it does not satisfy the condition given in the question. That is f of x increases by a factor of 27. So I don't think option C is also... Uh, I mean, uh, option C is incorrect. Okay, now let's verify option uh, D. So let me take option D. In option D also, I'm taking the initial value for X as zero. When I plug in X equals to zero over here, what will happen? So this part will become zero. That is uh, 27. So when I plug in X equal to zero, zero times this factor will become zero, whole to the power one half. So here, whenever we have two exponents like this, we can multiply the two exponents according to the power of a power rule. When I do so, I'm getting 27 to the power zero times one half is zero. So finally, it becomes 1. When x is equal to 0, this complete part becomes 1. 1 times 48 is 48. Okay, so we get f of x equals to 48 when x is equal to 0. Okay, so now when the value of x has to be increased by c. In option d, the value of c is 3. So the value of x, 0 here has to be increased by 3. Then I get x equals to 3. Okay, now let's check when x plug in x equal to 3 in option d. What value do we get for f of x? So f of x equals to 48 times 27. Uh, to the power of one third times three to the power of one half. So this three, three will cancel out. I'm getting 48 times um, 27 to the power of one half. So I'm getting, when x is equal to three, I'm getting f of x equals to 48 times uh, 27 to the power of one half. So when I increase the value of x uh, from zero to three, that is uh, the value of c is three over here. So what's happening the value of f of x in option d? Uh, f of x increases by a factor of 27 to the power one half, but f of x has to increase by a factor of just 27. But here f of x is increased by a factor of 27 to the power of one half. So option D is also incorrect. So only in option B, when I increase the value of x by C, uh, that is a C is equal to six in option B, when I increase the initial values uh, of x zero by six, f of x increases by a factor of 27. So it satisfies the given condition. The correct answer choice for this question is option B.